G'day there everyone, it's Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's session. Now finally we've got the ability to be able to request files out of a SharePoint site. Now we've already had this uh, functionality out inside of OneDrive for Business, but this has been a highly requested functionality to come and bring into SharePoint. And finally this is starting to roll out, uh, if not already in your organization, uh, very, very shortly. Now there are a few little things that we need to have enabled or set up in your tenant for this functionality to actually be able to work. So let's have a look before we go into the demo, let's have a look at what these requirements are. So we can see here that request files is only available when first of all, you're using OneDrive for school or work accounts. Okay, so uh, obviously with, with Microsoft 365, your admin of your tenant has enabled anyone links for SharePoint and also your admin has configured the view, edit and upload permissions for anyone links in the advanced section of um, that setting in the admin center, which we'll jump into and have a look at in a sec. Now in its current state, if you disable anyone links for SharePoint in the admin center, then the ability to turn on file requests also uh, is disabled at the site SharePoint and the OneDrive level as well. So let's dive into, first of all, where these settings are, and second of all, what the experience is like. So let's take a look at where these settings are set, uh, first of all, to allow for this functionality, and then we'll dive into what that experience looks like. So we can see here, I am gonna jump into the admin uh, center of uh, SharePoint, and we can see here that under policies, under sharing, we've got the ability here to um, look at the sharing settings uh, here, but also we can see the file and folder links um, options here. This particular tenant is set to anyone with this link and that is under the choose the type of link that is selected by default. Uh, and then what we've got also is choose the permission that's selected by default for the sharing links. We've got edit. Now here is the folder permissions here. So we've got the drop down list where we've got the, the opportunity to select um, what the permissions are at the folder level. So we've got view, edit, and upload. So that needs to be set there. But also we've got uh, this, this setting up here where it's set to anyone with um, the anyone link, okay? So all of that is set at the tenant level, but then we've also got settings at the site level as well, okay? So if I jump into this RFQ documents uh, library here, so we're on just a, a, a generic uh, SharePoint team site, we've got a document library and we've got a folder inside here. Now what we'll notice is that we don't have the ability to, or there is no option to request files, okay? Now if I jump into OneDrive, for example, and I select a folder, what we'll see is we've got the ability here to request files, but we don't have that in this particular site. That is because if I, again, I'll jump into the admin center, I'll go to active sites and let's look for uh, RFQ and we'll have a look at the sharing settings set out on this site. So we'll jump into sharing and you can see here that anyone links is not uh, available, all right? So what we're going to do is we are going to change that across to anyone. Everything else is uh, following the tenant settings and we'll hit save. Now, once that's saved and applied, I'll jump back into the RFQ site here. I'll just deselect this, I'll give this a refresh, and then we'll have a look and see what change that has made. So I'll now select the folder, and I will select these little ellipses here. It still hasn't come through. So let me just refresh one more time, and let's have a look and see if that has now uh, applied. And you can see now that we've got the request files option. All right, so now we can, this is enabled for this particular site. But just to check, let's go back into a, a different site now. So well, I'll close out of this. Let's just say we'll go into benefits. So let's have a look at the sharing settings of benefits. And you can see here, this is even more restrictive. So if I go into this site, and I go into the library uh, or a document library of this site. So I'll just close this down. Let's just go into site contents just to, just to give you some more clarification here. So I'll go to site contents and then I'll jump into the document library of this site. 
we may need to just create a folder, which we will. So let's go new folder uh, and let's go requests. We'll create that and let's just select this folder and see if we get that option. So I'll click the three little dots and you can see that we don't have that request files option, all right, because of that setting, the sharing setting. So let's jump back into uh, this site here. So you can see here, I click on request files. Now let's enter a description. What are we requesting files for? So let's go for uh, RFQ. So this is going to, they'll only, again, they'll only see the file description that you've entered and can only up file, upload files into this folder. So let's go next. And you can see I can copy the link or I can send it to somebody um, if I need to. But let's, um, what we might do, let's do a request for this email address. And then I will also add a Gmail account as well. And we will send this across like so. And that will send across to that person. So if I just wait for that request to come through now, I might also, what I might do is just grab, I'll grab another account as well so that we can uh, request a, another, just to give us a, a good little spread of accounts and different users. So I'll just grab another Gmail account that will request files from as well. So I'll just grab the, the account here. So let's again, request files. We will keep it the same and we can send it via email and we'll go select and we'll send that across and there we go like so. All right, let's refresh my Gmail account just over here. We shall wait for that to come through and then that has just populated now. So you can see here, here's the email that comes through to the external person. So you can see here, Megan Bowen has sent a request for the RFQ. So what we can now do is, again, this is just because I'm on a, a demo tenant. I'm gonna open this uh, page up and then this is going to allow me to upload some files, okay? So you can see here, I can select my files. So I can click on select files that will open up my file explorer where I can uh, choose the files to upload. So let me find a file. I'll choose a demo doc like here. Let's go this particular Word document. You can see here that I am just going to go social connector as first name, last name, and I'm going to upload this document. So that document is uploading. Now, if I pull this across, I jump into the request files folder like so. You can see now, here is that uploaded document. And I've got the prefix of that person's name and then the file name after that, okay? So if I do that again now with a different person, so I'm just going to open up a different account now, and then we'll upload it from a different person. So here's another user. Let's upload uh, some files from that particular user. Um, so we've clicked that, we'll just uh, minimize this. We'll drag this because it's opened up in a different tab. Again, same experience, different user. Okay, so let's select our files. And again, we're going to choose a file to upload. Um, so we'll choose a demo doc and we'll choose this power, this proposal template as a PowerPoint doc. Again, here, what I'm gonna pop in here is my name. So I will do my name. You can see we can add more files too. So we can upload additional files if we wanted to. So let's upload two files for this user. So I'll upload another file. It's being added, there we go. So we've got a proposal template PowerPoint doc and we've got a policy template, a Word doc. And let's upload this. 
You can see here the progress, we're now uploaded. So now we should have three documents in this folder um, where we've got to, across two different users. So let's jump into request files. Let's just give this a refresh. And what we'll see is we'll see three documents now and you can see that the documents are prefixed with that person's name. So the person fills that first name, last name, and it prefixes it to the actual document itself. So I hope that brings you some value today. The ability to request files in SharePoint now is coming. If not already there uh, in your tenant, will be there very, very shortly, not only out of OneDrive, but now also out of SharePoint, giving you some additional and some amazing functionality from your SharePoint sites now. But do remember, if it's not there in the menu settings, there are some admin settings in the back end uh, in the admin center that do need to be set. So, um, speak to your SharePoint admins. If it's not available, just get them to check those settings uh, and you can enable it. The good thing about it is it can be on a purse uh, on a site by site level as well. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.